The man looks at you with sad eyes. Us. Now die.
there's an old saying. As you walk deeper into the woods, the darkness grows ever more impenetrable and the light fades to shadow. The thorns of weirdness twisted trees carve sigils into your flesh. The steps become slow and labored as weakness spreads throughout your body. Logic tells you there's nothing to be found in these woods, but you continue out of, what, greed, curiosity? I see you have found my eyes, human. Though it has no lips, you could swear the creature is smiling. It gently takes the eyes from your hands and feeds them to the ravens. The eyes of the ravens glow. The ravens become silent and begin observing you with interest. They stole from me. I had to punish them. As you have seen, they are still alive. And alive they will remain. As long as I do. You remember the moaning corpses. You remember their torment. You wonder if you can help them somehow. I know what you consider. And no, you could not defeat me, human. But I do appreciate a loyal follower. I promised you a reward beyond imagination. And you've earned it. This rock is once again a private prison. Behind a loose stone, you find a small stash of... Oh, hello. It's good to see you.
You found what was when you filled. The cemetery is not a place you should linger. You notice a four-legged creature seeing this. The cat purrs and rubs her head on your hand, a faint voice in the distance. for saving my son. Oh, this is a beautiful runestone. Hello again, stranger.
feels like an echo of something that happened before.
expect something spectacular to happen, but there's silence, overwhelming silence. Then, after what feels like an eternity, a familiar voice. No, we can't have that. Death snaps its bony fingers. The monster you slew returns to life. It growls angrily, but suddenly disappears before it can attack. It's hard to tell, but you get the sense that death is disappointed. I told you that slaying the four guardians would lead you to your destination. The goat materializes out of nowhere and hovers in the air above you, clearly unable to move. He looks absolutely terrified. But instead of telling me that you've achieved your goal, my servant decided to act on his own initiative and push you in this direction. This violates every single rule we have. Not to mention that it also negates the plan we crafted for this world. I already told you before, this reality is governed by a simple story. It's good versus evil. And in every story, beyond every evil deed, there is a cause. You humans never speak about these causes. They're not important in the stories you tell yourselves. Defeating a monster, check. Killing a god, check. Leaving home, check. And yet, these are easy solutions which never address the root cause of the issue. But you're not interested in causes. You're interested in simple relief. And that relief lies in the knowledge that good will prevail eventually. Simple stories have simple causes. In this one, the root of corruption was in the monster you slew. Instead of fighting the symptoms, as stories demand, and as I've instructed you, you went ahead and addressed the real cause. You solved the problem. If I didn't intervene, this world would have come to an end. And we can't have that. Not yet. You've grown quite fond of it, haven't you? I guess we'll see after I come back to see how you fared with your new task. I'm going to change a couple of things in your story. Death looks up to the sky. Perhaps it's thinking about something. After some time, it speaks. From now on, every hero trying to save their reality, just like you, will be able to face this monster. You can keep training, but from now on, your main goal will be to free every soul you meet in this reality from corruption. When you've done that, 